Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Wade. Are you fond of your PMI, your private mortgage insurance? I know that I hated it. So I want to talk about how to destroy your PMI and get some tax-free money. Let's talk about how to do it in this video. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Wade Garrett. Thanks for finding my channel here on YouTube where I talk about real estate investing, self-storage, and creating passive income to retire sooner rather than later. And so, <laughs> real fast, I thought it was hilarious. Um, somebody that I work with at work was saying that I look like a Jeff Goldblum with from an alternate universe <laughs> with these glasses. So I thought it was hilarious. They're actually like blue light um, blocking glasses and they work amazingly well, uh, <laughs> but uh, they look a little funny. So I just wanted to put that in the beginning of the video uh, for some entertainment. So uh, thank you for finding my video. Thank you for watching this. This is one of the fundamental uh, fundamental series videos where I talk about some of the basics. Um, which can help guide you on your way. If you are a newer investor or you're newer getting into real estate itself and real estate in general. And so real fast, subscribe to this content if this is something that resonates with you, if it's something that is helpful and is getting you a little bit further on your journey in life, uh, subscribe and comment. Let me know if this was beneficial uh, if you like these kinds of fundamental videos, uh, comment in the video, and if not, let me know what you're looking for so I can work on building out the content to be able to get that to you. So I really appreciate you guys doing that, and now let's get into the content, okay? So do you want to destroy your PMI, your private mortgage insurance? I know when I first got my first property, my townhouse, I hated it because I had to pay this ridiculous PMI and while I was really lucky I actually ended up getting a thousand dollars at closing so that means that I was totally I had a hundred and three percent financing on this property so it was pretty beautiful getting money at closing <laughs> but the thing that sucked is I had to pay this private mortgage insurance every month and I think it was like $150 or $200 a month so it really started to add up and I hated it and I wanted to get out of it and get out from under it as soon as possible so how do you get rid of PMI basically PMI is charged by banks by lenders to basically hedge, to create a hedge against uh, on the risk that they're taking on more leveraged loans or loans that you don't have as much equity in the loan, okay? So if you don't bring a lot of money as a down payment on a loan, what ends up happening is you usually have to pay PMI. There's, of course, there's a way around it. What you can do is you can pay like a one-time fee uh, and when you do that, you basically are paying the fee and in return for that, they strip off the PMI from the note so you don't have to worry about it. The other way that you can get rid of this PMI is through refinancing and or paying um, additional principal. The idea is to get to an 80% loan to value ratio, okay? So I'm gonna talk about loan to values in another video but basically if you pay a certain amount as a down payment to where you let's say that you have 20 percent down then you aren't going to be paying pmi um, and you know uh, loans change all the time but that's basically a good rule of thumb is if you have 20 percent equity in the property then you won't be paying that pmi so what I did is I refinanced and 
Another beautiful thing about refinancing is that all that money is tax free. So I bought a fixer upper and then I put in a bunch of sweat equity and I got it all totally fixed up until where I felt like I had built that 20% equity. So then once I go through the refinance and the refinance did an appraisal and I was able to get over that 20% equity mark. So I was able to refinance I, and I took money out and I also basically destroyed the PMI at the same time. So that is how you can quickly get rid of your PMI is, you know, create equity through sweat equity, improve the property, or, you know, slowly pay down the principal on that property. Okay, so, but, um, so refinancing, I got tax free money and I got rid of that PMI. So that is how you can get rid of it quickly and get some tax free money. So I hope that that was beneficial for you. If it was, smash the like button. And again, consider subscribing if this kind of information and this kind of content resonates with you. And I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you on the next video. So take care and I'll see you then.